Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at fractions of time, which means I'm going to be splitting time down into its principal parts, and knowing how many of these go into one of these. Okay, so let's start off with a century. Okay, so we have one century. I'd best put one. Let's put one. So one century is the same as a hundred years. Okay, so cent, centurion, per cent, it's all to do with a hundred. So a hundred years. And then we've got one year is 365 days. Or we could say 12 months. Okay, well, we know that there are 12 months in a year. The only problem with that is that each month, well, a month either has 28 days, 29 days for February if it's a leap year, 30 days or 31 days. And so the actual number of days in a month is inconsistent. Okay, so um, you might have been taught... Um, 30 days have September, April, June, November. All the rest have 31, except February alone, which has 28 days clear and 29 days each leap year. So that's something that I was taught. Um, so it's the rhyme that allows you to memorise how many days there are in each month. Um, so from months into days, okay, then we have one day which is 24 hours, and then an hour is split up into 60 minutes, and then one minute is split up into 60 seconds. Okay, so every hour is split up into 60 minutes, every minute is split up into 60 seconds. And so, if you had to work out how many seconds there were in one day, okay, if you want to know how many seconds there were in one day, then it is 60 seconds in each minute, 60 minutes in each hour, 24 hours in each day, so 60 times 60 times 24, I'm not going to do that one myself, so I'm going to let the calculator do it. 60 times 60 times 24 is 86,400 seconds. Okay? So that's how many seconds there are in one day. So these are fractions of time. Um, and you need to know these uh, in readiness for the GCSE math exam. 